but you can think about it differently. You can think about our work as facilitating a patient's openness and readiness to the new ideas, not just right before the suggestions, but from the very first moment we meet them, all the way through and during the suggestions to the end of the session. So we can be thinking in terms of our ongoing impact on a person's readiness to hear new ideas and absorb them um, all the time, not just before the session. So moving from thinking like this to thinking more like this, from the first time we interact with somebody, during the suggestions to after. As Michael Yakko likes to say, um, change from doing hypnosis to being hypnotic. And the goals of this talk are really around that issue, to really understand the role that our brain states play in a person's readiness to absorb new ideas, um, as indicated by oscillations. And the second part of the talk will be to discuss the implications of that for enhancing our patient's um, acceptance of the treatments, our, their response to the treatment that we provide. So I'll be talking briefly about the treatment enhancing effects of hypnosis and then talk about research that's looked at hypnosis effects on brain activity as measured by brain oscillations and the association between brain oscillations and a person's response to hypnosis and then talk about three important implications for enhancing our efficacy as clinicians. So first, um, the effects of hypnosis to readying people for new ideas. The, um, there was a review done by Irving Kirsch and colleagues in 1995, a while ago, in which they looked at all the research that has been, had been done to compare cognitive behavior therapy versus cognitive behavior therapy plus hypnosis. And they found that um, when you added hypnosis to cognitive behavior therapy, it indeed enhanced the effects of the cognitive behavior therapy. So based on that, we did a pilot study to see what would happen if you added hypnosis to cognitive therapy in the context of pain management. And this was a pilot study. We gave 16 um, sessions, uh, 16 patients with multiple sclerosis, four sessions each of education about pain, cognitive therapy focused on having them learn to be aware of and change their thoughts about their pain.